The United Nations funds and operates a number of aid agencies in the war-torn country. These include UNICEF, the United Nations Development Program, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the World Health Organization Afghanistan, the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs and the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, focuses on the welfare and safety of Afghanistan's children. UNICEF runs a range of education and health programs which aim to give millions of Afghan children the best chance at a normal, happy life. The United Nations Development Program, or UNDP, which has spent over 50 years in Afghanistan, supports the reconstruction of a democratic nation through elections, reform and education. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, which is assisting the fledgling Afghan government in fighting the country's resurgent drug trade, which in turn is financing the Taliban attacks, which continue to claim dozens of lives each month. The World Health Organization Afghanistan, which runs health care programs aimed at raising the health standards of the nation's 33 million residents. At present, Afghans, both males and females, have a life expectancy of just 44 years, a figure the World Health Organization hopes to raise. The Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, which organises humanitarian relief efforts across the country, ensuring that the people of Afghanistan have the help they need. The UNHCR helps these people, many of whom have no money or possessions, to find shelter and reintegrate into Afghan society. Together, these organisations and agencies are working to build a lasting peace in Afghanistan, a peace based on a high quality of life for the Afghan people, security and stability.